Hi and welcome to this video on getting up and running in internet marketing. And internet marketing has similarities with other businesses but it also has a lot of differences and those differences can trip us up if we're not careful. But they can also make the difference between actually earning money or not. And This isn't a checklist but the aim is to help you identify what you're doing or not doing and what could work better for you. And that emphasis there is on you, not just someone. Starters, there's no set hours, and that's great if you're aiming to earn a second income that maybe has potential to grow into a full-time income if you want it to. And it's your decision if you just want to earn another $10, 20 30 $50 a month to be able to go out for a nice meal or whatever it happens to be, that's fine. If you want to be earning bigger than that, that's fine as well. Your choice. The plus of having no set hours is that you can fit your internet marketing into the rest of your life. So whether you're working one or more jobs, if you're at school or college, raising a family, retired or anything else, you can still fit it in. You can fit it into your life, which is a major plus. The biggest negative of having no set hours is it's really, really easy to procrastinate and put things off. Especially if you've got no boss, because it's just you. Or you can pretend you're working when you're really just checking Facebook or Twitter or emails or watching training. And yeah, watching training's good. But only if you put it into practice, otherwise it's like learning to swim by watching videos but never actually going near the water. There's a little bit of difference. So you need, still need a routine of sorts and that isn't always easy if you're working from home. It's not always apparent to other people in your home that you're really working. Or they think they can, because you're at home, they can interrupt. And the snag with interruptions, even small ones like a delivery driver or being asked what you'd like to eat tonight, is that they distract your train of thought. And even with small distractions, that means there's a downtime of maybe 5 to 15 minutes while you get back to where you were, or you've lost your train of thought completely and you actually can't get back to where you were. And that can be a big chunk of your working time if you've only got, say, an hour or so to devote to your internet marketing. And yeah, an hour is plenty, but not if a quarter or a half of it is recovery time from interruptions. So if need be, lock the door or hang a do not disturb sign on it, or even just go to the coffee shop and do your work there. Whatever stops you getting interrupted, because a set amount of time is good, so long as you're actually working. Then, with internet marketing, there's next to no startup cost. You've already got a computer and internet access, almost certainly. Near enough, everyone in the first world has. You don't absolutely need a website or hosting or an autoresponder, although they're all highly recommended, and they're not a major expense. All in all, all, in all less than a coffee a day. If you've got time in your hands, you could probably get professionally set up for well under £100, probably as low as $20 a month. And that's good in a lot of ways, but it can also mean you don't treat your investment carefully. When I first started, a domain name was a lot more than the $10 or so it currently costs. I think from memory it's about £60, which is about $100 a year. Having emails sent to my domain added a lot more, about £200, $300 a year from memory. Web space was expensive and scarce. I mean, I do pictures now that would, have, would be more than the web space that we were renting. <laughs> Crazy. Internet access was via a dial-up modem, so it was slow. And it was patchy because telephone lines drop. That's all changed, and generally for the better. But it means we run the risk of treating it like the extra free stuff in a packet of cereal. We just take it for granted, and most free or nearly free things just get valued at cost. So you need to adjust your thinking to treat your free or close to free website as being a highly valued asset. It doesn't matter if you're only spending $10 a year and maybe as much as $10 a month on hosting, maybe a bit less. It's worth a lot more to you as long as you use it. If it just sits there and gathers dust, no, it's not worth it. But I'm assuming you're going to run this as a business. Next up, if we're spoiled for choice, go to Amazon, pick a niche and... That's standard advice, and it's good advice because it lets you drill down fast, but it's so often it's deer in headlights mode. The more choice we have, the more chance we have to procrastinate, and if you've got a choice of take it or leave it, that's usually a quick decision. It's, it's yes or no, it's red or black on a casino roulette table, whatever. You, it really doesn't take very long to just say yeah or no, even if you hesitate for a while. If the choice is between a dozen different things, it's still usually a fairly ch fast choice, but thousands? Where do you even start? If you go to Amazon, where on earth do you start? Books? Products? And then when you drill down, where within that? And then the subcategories, and then usually subcategories beyond that. Not always easy. 
And with internet marketing, that's a big problem because if you agonise for hours or days or weeks about which market is best, and you can do that, you can analyse more and more figures and opinions, and they're all wrong. Because even if they're right for someone else, it doesn't mean they're right for you. It's kind of weird. It's um, the Coca-Cola and Pepsi thing, or, or I don't drink cola, so it's none of the above. You could take a niche, almost any niche, and if you're enthusiastic enough about it, there's an excellent chance you'd make money even if the figures suggested otherwise. As long as other people are interested in it, so that's near enough every niche nowadays. I can't. If you've got a hobby or an interest, chances are other people have, so you can find them, and they'll find you if it's obscure enough. Equally, you could go into a gigantic niche with billions and billions of dollars being spent on it every year, and you'd not earn a penny if you didn't really care about it. Because the enthusiasm or lack of it would show through in the things you created. You know instinctively if you go to a web page and someone was bored when they wrote it, or someone was English wasn't necessarily their first language, or they didn't do the research, they just wrote rubbish. That comes through. And, OK, you don't just need enthusiasm, but it goes a long, a long way. Set yourself a time deadline to pick a niche and research it, maybe an hour. That's plenty. Then do it. I'm. Some people suggest picking three niches and then choosing the best, that's okay, but again, only if you've got a time deadline. Otherwise, you could still be here in a month or a year's time and still not have made a decision. It's actually better to start than it is to not start. Then work at your chosen niche for long enough to find out whether your hunch, and it really is a hunch, was right. Get a domain name, install WordPress, or pay someone on Fiverr to press the click install for WordPress, write some content. Lots and lots of content, I would suggest. Put up some videos like this one, or one with you talking head, or demoing, or whatever whatever works best for you. Contribute to forums, or Facebook groups, or wherever. And do that regularly, not just one off and then move on to the next shiny penny. Because unless you've really hit a wave and touched a nerve, or whatever, that doesn't work. So do it consistently for at least a few weeks, preferably a few months, and monitor the results, not to the exclusion of just saying, oh, I'm checking my stats again. I pressed refresh five minutes ago. Someone else must have visited. Nah, don't do that. Monitor what you enjoy doing and monitor what seems like a chore as well. So not just the results. I'd suggest maybe weekly for the results. Probably weekly for what you enjoy doing. If you don't like writing content, do videos like this one. If you hate videos like this one, do content or audios. You can do audios on the move. You can use SoundCloud and lots of other things and just record them on your phone. So you'd be out walking the dog or yourself or even probably hunting Pokemon nowadays and you could do it. You could just talk and if that's you, if you can keep that, stop yourself being too distracted, stop yourself from being run over. So it's um, obviously a danger with sort of using mobile phones like that. But generally, monitor what you enjoy doing. Chat with people in your niche as well. Facebook, Twitter, forums make that easy and help them. Because when you help them, you'll find out what they actually want. You, you'll find out where they're stuck. What seems easy to you, maybe isn't easy for someone. Going back to the swimming, if you can swim, a lot easier for you than it is for someone who's never swum before. If you're old enough to have watched The Karate Kid, remember to focus, Daniel Sun. And if that reference goes over your head, don't worry. Just focus for long enough each day to move forward. If you're scatterbrained, that may take a little bit of training, but... Start with small enough periods, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and work upwards. Or if 15 minutes is long enough, and it'd be long enough to record this video and change, it took me maybe 15 minutes to type it out, and it's going to take me another 15, 10, 12 minutes to record it. You can do that in chunks, so you don't need very long. It's a coffee break, or some of your lunch hour. And then don't be afraid to ask for help, because help's everywhere. Some of it's free, plenty of YouTube videos around to do almost anything you ever wanted and lots of things you never thought of. Some help's cheap. Lots of internet marketing products out there promising the world for less than $10, plus upsells and whatever. And some of it costs a, a bit more, but is sometimes worth what you pay for it. And some of it costs a lot more, and again, is sometimes worth what you pay for it. I'd be aware of those $5,000 coaching programs where it seems as though you'll get coached by the guru if until you've actually read the sales page carefully and found out all the disclaimers and weasel words. But in theory, you get coached by the guru you've been following, but actually you'll be taught by an intern who's really at your level, maybe even below it. 
Some of these are valid and well worth the money, but others are the modern day equivalent of snake oil, and it's difficult to know the difference between them in advance. So take smaller steps. You wouldn't have enrolled for a college course when you were just starting school for the first time. Same goes for your internet marketing. And narrow down who you listen to, because there are so many different ways to do things, you'll become just become confused otherwise. it's If you've got 20 emails a day arriving in your inbox, and that's probably low for an internet marketer, it's probably 20 different things you can do. Occasionally, five or ten of them will be all the same offer, and you'll be thinking, oh, well, if I just had that, and no, it isn't. You don't need that new offer. Honest. Whether it's from me or anyone else, you don't need it. You've almost certainly got enough knowledge. If not, go out and research it. But you can get help, and if you like what you've heard here, check out my other videos. Plenty of help in those. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get notified when I put a new video up. Or click the link below this video to get more information from me on a regular basis. I tend to be fairly real world, hopefully, and tend to be not shiny penny chasing very often. Do my best to filter those out. But no choice. Your, your choice. No pressure. And I but I've been wrong. Well, stumbling on my words here. I'd be more than happy if you join me on this internet marketing journey, or if you chose someone else, if you got on with them and followed the information, because that's it. Follow it to a fair extent. Do it, and you'll be absolutely amazed at how far you can get for very little money, very little time, just persistence. But if you'd like to know more, click. As I said, check out my other videos or click the link below this video and we can chat further. Thanks for watching.